how to use book vault in this tutorial you'll learn how to use book vault to design books even if you're a beginner here's what you will learn generating interior pages with book vault easily create interior pages for various books saving time and effort adding text and images a step-by-step -step guide on customizing your book finalizing and downloading get your book ready for amazon kdp or other platforms you can check the timestamps in the description for a quick navigation climate process starting off begin by navigating to explain the socials.com slash book vault alternatively you can directly click the link in the description box below this guide or any other promotional content that you are viewing now after you reach the home page of book vault it is really essential to choose the plan that you want so you can see the pros and cons of each plan. There are primarily just two plans on Book Vault, the newbie and the pro. And depending on your needs, you can pick out the one that befits you best. Once you click on the plan that you want to choose, you can get started with your registration. And I have a special 20% discount. So if you've decided on your plan, don't forget to take full advantage of our special offer. Type in the code CREATOR20 to get 20% off of your selected plan. Now, after you have applied your discount, you can complete your registration and you will receive a confirmation email in your email address. Now, we're all ready to explore and enjoy the platform. Starting off, we're gonna get started by generating our interior pages. So to do that, the first thing you have to do is locate the create button on the top left. Once you click on create, you want to enter the book vault studio. So simply click on the book vault studio. Now we're going to begin a new project and we're only going to be generating a interior. And you guys can see it has multiple different project types. So you can choose to generate your entire book, which includes your cover and your interior, or you can choose to generate only a cover or only a interior. And you have two basic types of book. You have your paperback books and your hardcover books. So we're going to be creating a interior paperback book and we will name our project gratitude journal. After that, you have to choose your trim size. We're doing a six by nine inch trim. And then below that you have your paper options so you have black and white interior with white paper or if you want colored interior you have standard and premium as well so if you choose to insert any kind of image in your interior if you're looking to enter any colorful design elements in your interior you can do a standard color interior however if you only want your interior to be lined pages then you don't require a color interior, you can leave it at black and white. The next thing is your bleed. I recommend that you do account for bleed because the bleed is the section of your paper that gets cut off. So to make sure that no element of your design gets cut off during the printed process, you want to account for bleed when you are designing. Now, if you remove your bleed, but you're adding large paper margins, you won't really find this issue to be problematic for you however it's better to be safe than to be sorry then you want to choose your page count let's say i want to build 100 interior pages and just like that you will click on create project now our pages have been created you will see on the top left you have a color section where you can choose out any color from the color wheel to create that particular color of page you can do this for a singular page or you can even apply this to all of your pages now I want to keep my paper white and we're going to zoom in now after you have your canvas ready then you can get started with designing it so there are a abundance of things that you can add to your interior pages on your left you have a navigation panel and it's very essential to use this tool to its fullest so first off, you have a freehand drawing tool. Then you have your elements where you have multiple different shapes that can help you add a more dynamic and wonderful look to your interior. Then you also have text as well as images. So because we're building a interior first, I already have a image in mind that I want to add. 
Before that, you have to line your pages. So you can do a manual lining simply by clicking on elements. Click on line over here and you can copy and paste this line to your personal liking. However, this is time consuming and I think there is a far better solution provided directly by BookBald. So if you're not looking to create any kind of dynamic lines and you just want plain lined paper, then you can always use a template provided by BookBald. So to access these templates, you can simply click on this icon, which looks like a maze, and then you will find the interior template library of BookBald. So you will see there are multiple different types of interiors provided, and you can choose the type of interior that you want. So if you want a basic journal interior, a ruled interior, ruled lines, or even other types of interiors, such as word scrambles, as well as pitman, as well as build tracker interiors, they have multiple different types of templates for those interiors as well. But we are building a gratitude journal, so I'm just going to continue with a plain white journal. Now after that, you can choose the number of pages that should have those particular types of lines. If you want to build alternating pages, so one page is lined and the next page might have something else, we can apply this to only odd pages. However, we are building a simple journal, so I will select all. Then you want to click on next and this pop-up will appear. So if you want any margins on your pages or if you want your lines on your pages to start from the corners, then you can choose to set your margins at zero. You have a top margin, a bottom margin, a left and right one. Let's say I want margins at the top but I don't want them on the sides. So I can set the side margins at zero. Then you have the width of your stroke. So how thick should the lines be? And you can increase this size as well, as well as click on this box over here and the color wheel will appear where you can choose the color of line you want. So if you want to deviate from the standard gray lines, then you can choose any other color. Once you are set with your design, simply click on submit and now your interior pages will be generated. Now, once your interior pages are generated, you might want to add a flare to your pages. So you can do this by adding shapes. Simply click on shapes over here and you have an abundance of shapes that can help you in creating more of a illustrative or a better design element. So I've taken this shape over here and I can resize and place it. However, if you're not satisfied with these shapes that are provided, you can even create your own or enter your own images and convert them into shapes. So to do that, simply click on images over here, click on upload image, and then you want to select the image that you want to insert into your book's interior. Once you've selected that image, simply upload it and you will find it appear on the left of this box. So you can open your image up and then resize it. Now I can place this image over here. However, this will only add it to your first page or the page that you have opened. With a 100 page interior, you don't wanna have to do this step over and over. So once you've added your image, you can copy this image to all of your pages because doing it manually would take a really long time. So you can easily do that simply by clicking on the element or image that you have added. Then you want to locate this sheep icon present in the navigation panel. Once you go into your clone objects section, you want to click on clone to other pages. Then you can select the pages you want to clone to. If you want a harmonious journal that looks same, on all of the pages so you don't want to have any alternating pages simply click on select all however maybe you want to spice up your journal and create a different design on first half or the second half of your pages you can simply click on select first half over here or select second half or you can even do a select odd pages or select even pages so i'm gonna add this element to the odd pages and for the even pages, I'm going to build another element. So we're going to add this to all of our odd pages. Once you click on clone, all of your odd pages will have the same image. So you guys can see that was page one. This is page three. 
and if you scroll down on the left over here you will find the butterfly will be present on one empty page and then one butterfly page so on and so forth for all 100 pages now in the next section i'm going to show you guys how you can insert text so you will see this is page two and to insert text all you have to do is simply click on the text box icon on the left side then you have multiple different types of text so you can choose whichever one you want i just want to add a heading added daily affirmations then i can choose the font from the top over here and there are multiple different free fonts that you can choose from i'm going to take this one and then i will resize my text now if you want you can create this kind of page in a different format if you don't want it to be lined just like this i've added this text now i want this text to be present on all the pages that don't have the butterfly so for that all i have to do is click on the text over here click on clone objects and then clone to other pages now i will select select even from the top navigation panel and then click on clone and now this will be added to all of the alternating pages so i have one simple page in which people can write their journal write whatever they did and then one page for their daily affirmations now once your interior has been completed you will see that you can click on download on the top left and then you can download your current projects in multiple different formats so if you're looking for this to be a printed book on amazon kdp or another platform then you want to download this in the form of a current project cmyk or you can download the current page however we want to download our entire file so you can click on download current project and just like that, it will be downloaded for you to publish. Now our design has been downloaded and the interior pages for our book bulk design have been completed. Now we're going to begin by designing our cover. So this was just the interior of our journal. If you're designing any kind of book, you obviously will have a cover. So because this is a printed book anyways, I need to keep in mind that this book might be put on a bookshelf or this book might be present on a table so how it's going to appear over there is also a very important step to keep in mind now to do that we're going to click on project over here click on new project then you want to select paperback cover once you do that you want to enter the same project name and we're going to obviously choose the same trim size as well as the same type of paper then you also want to make sure that the number of pages that you add are accurate. This is why I designed my interior beforehand because if I ever have a change in heart in the number of pages, that will impact the size of your cover because the bleeds will become more so the dimensions of the bleeds will increase if you have more pages. However, if I design a cover too small, then I won't have accounted for the bleeds and then I have to design the cover again. This is why generating the interior beforehand can be a little more helpful. So I created a 100 page interior and that's what I'm going to write. Then I'm going to click on create project over here. Once I do that, I will have this template appear before me. This is the Amazon KDP template because it accounts for the bleeds and then you also have your barcode location and size so this is where the barcode would appear if you have added one if it's going to be sold in a physical bookstore then barcodes are usually a part of those types of books now what you want to do is you can click on your template opacity on the top left you can increase or decrease this opacity if you find it to be a bit difficult to design on top of this so we're going to be creating a simple design we're going to click on shape and i'm going to pick a simple square shape i'm going to place it this directly into the center i've chosen a rectangle instead and just like that using the dots you will drag and expand it and I'm placing this directly on the spine. You can see these red lines over here account for the bleed. So if I would not have encountered for the bleed, these lines might get cut up. 
and I would have designed to till the edges, however, those edges would be folded over or cut up, and the design would look incomplete, or it would just look unfinished. So I'm putting a black margin on my bleed on the spine. Now, after that, you can insert any kind of image, background, or element. So to do that, you can simply click on your element on the left, and then choose any element. Now, I'm going to first off give this a color. So you will see on your top left, you have your paper color. And I'm going to go into the color wheel and you can select any color that you want. I've chosen this really dark purple. However, if you can't really estimate the shade of the color, you can click on your template and hide your cover template. This will give you a better idea of what your book cover is currently looking like. So I have just added my paper color like this. So once I've added my cover, all I have to do is go into my text, click on circular text, and I'm going to enter the title of my book or journal. Now to edit the circular text, you have to click on edit text on the top left, and I've written gratitude journal. Now this is pretty curved, so you will see this option on the top left where it has the circular text effect. You can increase the radius or decrease it to make the text as curved as you want. Now, once I've added my text, I want to include the same butterfly we added to our interior. So I will go back into my images section and I can select this image and it will already say on pages. So I've used this on pages. Now, you guys will see your image pop up over here and you can choose to add a blending effect as well. However, I want to increase the size of this and place it over here. Then you can do a right click and then I will click on send to back so it's behind my text. Then you can click on the image and click on the top opacity section so you can decrease the opacity just like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off of my canvas and I can click on my template opacity, hide cover template. And this is what our exterior is looking like. You can include any information about your journal or book on the bottom half. And then once you are done and satisfied with the appearance of your cover, you can click on download and download your project as a printed book. And just like that, your book bolt interior and cover page has been generated. Designing with book bolt can be super fun and easy. It doesn't have to be really complicated at all. So the amazing interior and cover have been designed for our book. So to extract those or to find them, simply open up your search bar and go into your downloads. And in your downloads, you're, you will find a zipped file and you can just click on that zipped file and then it will open up the PDF of your journal or book that you have just designed. It is so simple and so easy. Now, additionally, you don't just create on Book Vault. There are some other fantastic features that can help you in creating and optimizing your books. So not only do they have creation features, which we focused on, but they also have research based features. So you can go on to the research section on your homepage. And once you go on to the research section, you can search for any type of keyword that you want to target. For example, I'm just going to search for gratitude journal, which is the type of journal that I created. Now, what this will do is that it will show me the keyword count as well as some of the products that have been optimized for these particular keywords. So these products are high ranking products in the particular niche that I'm targeting. What this can help you in doing is that you can design your journal according to these designs, taking inspiration from these designs. And you can also include the keywords that you see on the right side of your screen. You will also get related keywords that you can include in your description wherever you are listing your journals. It might be on Amazon KDP or any other platform. So you will find all of these related keywords that can be a great way to increase the search engine optimization for your book or for your journal. Now, other than that, you also have some other features 
which can help you in targeting a particular seller. So you can search for a particular seller on Amazon. You guys can see this is the keyword, the total research, the SBR, lowest price, highest price, and you will see the author, what kind of products that they are creating. And you can find any particular author or any particular seller that you see on Amazon and see what kind of niche they are targeting, whether or not they are working in one niche and what are the keywords that they are using. Next up, you also have some other features, including their cloud feature. So the cloud feature allows you to see the top 100 in a particular category. Let's see, I want to go into the journal and then if you want, you can also include a keyword. However, you can also optimize the BSR range and the price range as well. So these are the top sellers in that particular range. You will also have the price, the estimated monthly sales and estimated moving average sales. So you guys can see that these kinds of products can be a great way for you to design your product accordingly. So you can see what is already working in that particular niche and you can build something off of that format instead of starting from something that is absolutely new that may or may not work. Now, another very important thing to do when you are browsing these is to set your price range. So if I'm going to create a product within the $8 range, I want to only look at other $8 products to get a better estimate of what I am competing with. So once you have your price range set, you want to make sure that you're taking a look at these titles. This is something that is often overlooked, which is the title. These kinds of titles include very long lines or even sentences in their title. The reason for this is that they're trying to include as many keywords as possible so that their specific listing ranks higher. You want to follow the same strategy and without having to do a lot of hassle, you can take a look at the different keywords that they have used. So if I was building a particular journal like our gratitude journal, I would go into the optional keywords search for gratitude, then I can just search over here. And now I will take a look at the different titles that people are using. Primary composition notebook, drawing journal, picture space, girl empowered composition notebook, wide ruled school journal. Now taking a look at these, I can easily build my own title for my listing. May it be on Amazon or any other platform. So if we were to build a gratitude journal listing, I would probably include something like gratitude journal, wide ruled, daily journal, unleash your inner peace, inspiring composition journal for relaxation. So I'm following the template from this particular listing and building something off of it. I'm not replicating it, nor am I copying, but instead you can just take a teeny tiny bit of inspiration. Now, after that, you also have your book scout, which helps you in tracing out KDP product from their ASIN number. So to use this, simply open up Amazon. Now simply search for the type of journal that you're building. You guys can see this is a journal that is currently being sold. It's a gratitude journal. It does not have a lot of results, so I'm going to go on to this one over here that has some ratings. And you can go into the product details. And on your product details, you're going to find the ASIN number. You can copy this number from here. Now, BookBolt is collecting all of the product data for you. So you guys can see these are all of the keywords that this particular product is targeting to list as high as it is. So now BookBolt has processed the data and you guys can see the total item count and the search volume for that particular keyword. So not only does BookBolt provide you with an amazing platform to design your books, but you can do all of your product research directly on this platform as well. So it's really a all in one that helps you in finding the perfect balance for what kind of design you should use, what kind of keywords you should target. Plus, if you want to do direct keyword research, you can go into the keyword section over here 
click for search, and then you can search for a particular keyword. We're going to continue with our same example of the gratitude journal. Now you're going to find your keyword or phrase and the competition that you have for that particular one. A gratitude journal has super high competition. Then you guys will also see the CPC and the Amazon average. So you guys will see gratitude journal with prompts. Now, this is an amazing keyword that does not have as high of a competition as the rest of them, and you can make sure to include this in your journal or book that you are publishing. This will increase your chances of being seen on Amazon and your product ranking higher in the search results. You also get a frequent keyword list on the right side whenever you search for a particular keyword. And you also have KDP Spy, which is an extension that BookBalt has that allows you to get all of the stats of a particular item on Amazon KDP, and you can directly browse Amazon and see what is working and what kind of products have the best sales. Want to try out BookBalt for yourself? I've got a special link just for you in the description. It helps you support me and gets you a great deal. You can use the coupon code CREATOR20 to get a 20% off your plan for the lifetime of you using it. Happy designing and see you soon.